But let me tell you, there are almost 35 countries which have more than 316 cases. We are not that high if you take this matrix. So, an absolute number, total number of cases, we are leader. Like we are a leader in population. But if you take the rates per one lakh population, how, how many have TB? We, we are sort of out of 200 countries, still very high. We are somewhere around 35. <coughs> Same holds true for deaths. Deaths also, we are highest number of deaths if you take total number of deaths. If you take death per one lakh population, again we slip to somewhere around 30 or so. So, there are other countries which report much higher. So, that's point number two. So, these two things. Is TB increasing in India? I guess told you no. It is not increasing. But we are seeing more cases. Why are we seeing more cases? Dr. Roda told you because we are testing more. If you test more, you will get more cases. If, if I do an x ray of all of you sitting in this room, some of you will show some shadows. And if I test further, maybe some of you will show one or the other thing which you don't know. And that is what uh, Dr. Roda was having, that one of the latest survey on TB has shown that almost 60% of patients who have TB have no symptoms. Bobby asked you four symptoms of TB, but not everybody will show those symptoms. Some will not show you any symptoms. So if you take random x-rays of people, some will show x-ray of no If you test them with them, diagnostic test, some will test positive, they will actually be heavy. So there is an implication, that's where Bobby said, now our motto is find all TB to eliminate TB. So how do you find all TB to eliminate TB? And that is where uh, Mona Banani, the first speaker, was referring to involve the community. Involve people who have suffered from TB. Because people who have suffered from TB, they know how how they negotiate the health system, how they negotiate doctors, how they negotiate diagnostic labs, what time the lab test gets promoted, what is the time gap between first time if we do maybe something and we actually get that. So that's a huge time gap. Which science says you can get diagnosed maybe in one hour. So that is science. But actually how much time it takes? Practically it takes two to three months. So somewhere we are missing that. So how do we do that? So first is related this uh, or connected. Who is more connected with people or community? This person who has suffered from disease. Or anybody who has suffered from disease. So concept of people living with diseases or people who have suffered diseases. So they are the best ambassadors. They, they are the best way to tell you. If I tell somebody, let me complete that. If I tell somebody I have TB, I have gone through this step, you will listen to me more carefully. But as a doctor, if I'm giving you a lecture, probably you may not be that careful because you relate to that person, you know that person. So that is relatedness or connectivity. So community becomes very important. Others is who amplifies those messages. All of Who amplifies suffering of people? Who amplifies what is available? It is the media. Who lets you know what, what, what science is happening? It is the media. Science will tell you you can uh, diagnose it in one hour. But people will tell you you take three months. I go to a doctor and then ten times he tells us. The community will tell you we go through a lot of trouble. Science tells you you can get diagnosed in one hour. But somebody has to bridge that gap. Yeah science and what actually happens in the real world situation. Who which is that gap? One is people who are actually suffering. Second is people like you who, who actually take those messages of community and not only community but also science and uh, other things. So you are able to connect the dots. So who connect dots? Our program is also fortunately called dots. Uh, 
that's called directly observed train per second, but you are trying to connect. Who connects? These amplifier is connected. Then, how can you find the locus? Then that's where our creation, uh, Lisbeth and Sunil, these people, because they are implementers, they reach out to people, they give you services. So the service provider or stakeholder, so maybe they are non-governmental organization, it is government, it is state government, it is laboratory, so service provider. Uh, that uh, can be important be in that story. If you don't have the service provider, you can't make one hour, replace the capital in one hour and three months. That they have to replace by the more efficient they are, the more the gap will be bridged. Then let's come to science, innovation. Huh? Now, earlier when we were testing people for degree through a microscope, you were missing nearly 50% of the microscope. The microscope was not the end of it. You can still have KB even if you have tested negative on the microscope. For 50% of this. That came innovation in science. You can diagnose no KB in one hour. One hour. And can be 100% sure that if they say you have KB, you will have KB. If they say you won't have KB, you will not have KB. So you have also eliminated that dilemma. So that is dilemma is well eliminated by science. Not testing. Where is that testing available? Is it available in cities, big colleges, uh, big hospitals, or can it be done near their home or on the bedside? So now again, science tells you that you can actually take the test, bring the test to this room and test it here. You don't need a laboratory to do that. So now the science has made machines, which you call point of care. They come to this room, or your bedroom, or your drawing room, and can do the test. Not only people, they can do 30, 40, 50 tests of different diseases. So that, that's again new innovation and science, which is an means there. So a lot is happening. And then other stakeholders, of course, you need funders, you need money. So you, that's where Rakesh comes in, and he gets all uh, <laughs> Corporates into the program and they then help the government to give you the money. So he gets money from people who are rich. Not the typical story, yeah, the doctor. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> uh, okay. So he is not he is not the one. They will get money from people who, who have the money and they will forget with the wrong people who don't have the money. So he has reached to almost I don't know how many four 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 five hundred people who have huge money. He brings it to people who don't have money and then gives it services. So that's another. How do you actually make money available? So there are various models to make that money available. And then, of course, you look at the quality. And then also, there are organizations which are doing a lot of advocacy with high politicians, etc. So if you know one program of company which is called Lanmantri TV is a clarion call adopt a TV patient. So you adopt a TV patient and try to solve all of their problems, not only disease, also if they have lively positions, if there are any other issues related to the children and education, try to hand them to them. Okay, but give them free food, free action. So okay. uh, that's where all of us have adopted few patients, depending on how much we can organize. It costs just about uh, Thousand rupees, uh, less than thousand rupees a month to a doctor. If you have uh, say 10 TA patients for a year, you are spending 15, 20,000 from much more, and still you are doing a good clinic. So that's where also we have sort of bridging the gap. So finding all TV, what do you do? So you bring all which pieces of jigsaw puzzle together there. So what is helping you is uh, civil society is helping you. Corporates are helping you, innovators are helping you, science is helping you, science is helping you to reach out the those step that was more easily. The people, the media and the society. For me, I've been working with Bobby for the past 15 years. He has helped us a lot to, to spread our message, take it forward. I have had a press conference and I at least 10 times uh, to get let people know how they can help and support. So huge role by media journalists because two applications happen through media. 
what I'm talking here will stay here if you don't write. But if you write, it will go Yeah, just uh, to amplify what uh, Dr. Kulip has said, you all can also adopt uh, a TV patient. If press people, media, can uh, adopt one person, each one of you, you will know their inside story, which you can amplify, which will empower the patients, which will empower the community. And once the community gets empowered, they will ensure that they are treated well. The unfortunate part is our community and people who are suffering are not empowered because media is not playing a constructive role. So if you can play a constructive role, from today, once you are out, start, take a promise to adopt a TV patient, each one of you. I think you will automatically write about what TV problems are, about what problems are going to be. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah. Thank yes. you. So maybe, yes, uh, yeah. maybe we can have some brief remarks, right, Dr. Sandeva? So, uh, Dr. Uh, M. Sunil Kumar is here. Uh, you all will be knowing him already. He has been a uh, former state TV officer in Kerala and he's also the honorary secretary of TV Association of Kerala and the uh, member of the Central Committee of TV Association of India. Obviously, Dr. V. K. Arora said is the chairman. So, Dr. M. Sunil Kumar, uh, please, uh, your opening remarks. Thank you, Dr. something about your persons. Still the people, even among the doctors are not aware that TB is still existing. And their last diagnosis, they think about TB is only dating. By the time the tuberculosis might have spread throughout the lung and into a body. And this is what we can do is to make aware of the common public, so people who have symptoms with the cough, cough, fever, loss of weight, such a type of symptoms, patients may be referred to the nearest health center. And we do have facility to have the sample of sputum collected from their home to the respective microscopic centers. And now the newer molecular diagnostic test, which costs around 5,000 rupees per test, is given free of cost from the government of India. And that's the relativity through the certificate. And this has to be highlighted to the entire community so that we have people can refer to them to where to go with the people with symptoms of TB. This is my request to the media and journalists to write more about tuberculosis and make the people aware of the TB elimination activity going on in the entire country. And we are moving forward towards the TB elimination activity and Kerala is in forefront for TB elimination activity. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Smith. As you said last year, the was held in 1999-2001. It's on the TBC India website, I will send you the link. Yeah. And uh, we will immediately take questions, but we let's hear from uh, other panelists, uh, Elizabeth as well. Elizabeth uh, is from yes. Mana. Yes. Elizabeth, please, your yes. insights. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Yes, I'm from Humana People to People India. Uh, we are an NGO uh, that has now turned 25 years. We started our journey in Rajasthan in one village and today we work across uh, 15 states in uh, almost 10,000 villages or urban uh, communities. And um, one of our big areas is uh, TV. And I agree with uh, all the things that has been said here. And we can say that our role is like Dr. Saxdeva said, to be one of those who bridge the gaps but uh, because we are directly working with the homeless and the migratory and people uh, living in slums with the what we call the key vulnerable population. Because even though all of us are basically in risk, we can all get TB, there are some people who are more exposed to TB due to their, their uh, living conditions. 
are in a poor state, you can say, and maybe also nutritional conditions, and so on and so forth. And uh, we have uh, been working with uh, this uh, communities for the last uh, 12 years in Delhi, and have now uh, recently also scaled up to work in uh, Mumbai, Kolkata, and Hyderabad. So we basically in the big metropolitan uh, cities. And uh, what we are doing then is basically we are informing, we are educating, we are uh, helping people to get uh, screened for TB, and if found, what we call presumptive, that you might have TB, to be tested with all the, I would say, those old-fashioned and modern methods, whatever is available in that uh, particular uh, state. And I would say uh, it works really well. We have many people on the ground because I totally agree that uh, all of you as uh, journalists know, of course, you have a big outreach through the mass media, but we are also working with the people who don't read newspapers, who are maybe not really uh, say consuming or get access to the media and uh, sometimes also have a lot of misinformation that is also there. So by going basically from person to person, organizing groups in the communities of uh, TV champions and others, it actually uh, means that there is a lot of people who like to come forward and we have uh, over the last five months, reached out to uh, three lakh people and found more than 1,700 uh, people with TB. So what it does it is, of course, very good for these people, but it also creates demand. Because as you also said, yes, people should also go and ask for the services. So uh, when people come forward, then we all know that then it helps, and there needs to be all of us. So uh, that is just short from uh, our experiences that uh, definitely uh, people in the community, when you get access to information, then it will also move. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. And we will come back to all of you as we take more questions. I have, we have Dr. Jyoti Vajpayee amongst us. Uh, she is a senior faculty at the Depart Respiratory Medicine Department at King George's Medical University. Dr. Jyoti, please your remarks before we open it for questions. So very good afternoon to all the esteemed panelists and uh, media person and all the people are sitting here. So thank you for inviting me here. So I am representing Dr. Suri Kansa. He is an STO chairman of uh, UP State Task Force. So um, uh, my remark is uh, today workshop is related to find TB to stop TB. So active case finding yourself a TB patient is very important. Any patient who is coming with symptoms of cough, fever, we have to know the what are the symptoms, when to identify these patients and look for the services which are available nearby us. Government is supporting a lot and all the private sector and uh, government sector like medical colleges, everybody is towards working towards the NTV program. It is a main dream of our, um, our honorable prime minister as well as our country also. So first, identification of the early symptom is very important. And second one is the counseling. I think that, that there are media person, they are a very good, play a very good role to know what are the symptoms and what are the signs to identify early TB cases. When we identify early TB cases, there are a lot of just as Sir told, there are signs playing a great role to identification of the early TB patients, like true not is available. So we use these facilities as soon as possible to find these cases and provide early treatment. Government doing a great effort for treating those patients as we are a model TB center in our college and we are also a center of excellence. So I think more of more center of excellence are required to treat these patients to anti-TV program. So this is from my side. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Bajaj. Any questions from you all? Or you can? Uh, in the meantime, I just want to uh, tell you that uh, 
Trisher Medical College is here. Uh, we are organized under Kiwi Association of India, the 78th National Conference in tuberculosis and respiratory disease. That is being held uh, from today it has started. It will stay, we will be discussing uh, tomorrow and on Monday, till Monday evening. So it is three days Congress. Today we are having workshops where we are training the doctors, you know, uh, to different, uh, what we call the diagnostic tools and all that. See, it is almost 30 years when uh, the conference in court, Kerala was held in Trivandrum. And after almost 30 years, now we are holding in Trisur, you know. So the purpose only is because TV Association sincerely, you know, works for creating awareness of uh, not only the patients and the communities and bring them together through interface of our TV Association of India with the central available services, but also trains the doctor, you know, those who are working in tuberculosis. I was told before coming that almost 700 doctors have registered. They are all TB doctors who are working day and night for the service of the TB patients and all that. And uh, there are experts now in TB in the experts of an excellent like Dr. Kudim Sadeva is here and a few of us who are sitting here. And we train, like when we say science, what is Dr. Kudim, what is the understand? Science we have brought to the rooms to diagnose early diagnosis. So, but many doctors are still not aware about this science, how to apply in the present situation in the field. So that is the purpose of holding this kind of a con conference with experts, with panel discussions, to bring home that what change has been done at this time, what future we look like, and how in the future we can change our strategies. At the end of the day, of course, every one of us want TB to be eliminated. TB to be eliminated from India. And you know that 2024, the WHO slogan is also the same. Yes, we can end the TB. So with this slogan, which the WHO has given, we are all working together to see that we can end the TB, not only in our country, but obviously it's the human humanity. We want all the world should be TB free. Now when you say that it's curable, uh, do you mean that it's uh, completely uh, uh, eliminated or is it uh, from uh, uh, infectious to non-infectious? No, you see, uh, elimination completely is when we get only one patient per lakh population. Then we say that it may uh, still be, be somewhere, some places, a TB case may come up. For example, leprosy. Leprosy, we don't see the cases, but suddenly we find in some pockets, some patients may come up. But in the country, more or less we say TB is, uh, leprosy is not there. Yeah. Similarly, tuberculosis is an infectious disease. Infectious disease it takes very long time to cut the source of transmission. Not only cut the source of transmission, but also the bacilli which sits in our body. Whatever situation brings our immunity less, they stand up and call that. To achieve elimination is a long term our goal. At this moment, our first aim is to control tuberculosis. The transmission can be cut, their resistance can be increased through preventive measures, through even though vaccination at this moment is not there, but when efforts are made to bring the vaccination which can give the immunity to those patients who suffer from it, and then to improve in the country the social determinants. I, I, when Radhika said, she, she concentrates on this, this is an important issue which you have to, uh, the press has to take with the public, that it is not that, uh, that's what Dr. Gudeep also said, it's not that we can, doctors can only, uh, this one, until unless social determinants are taken into consideration, it will be very difficult to, to eliminate, not only to eliminate, but to control the disease. Any questions? Have the decrease? 
uh, in government involvement uh, in distributing uh, medicine and drugs. Because we heard a lot of advertisement uh, before uh, some years ago, but not, uh, now that's the thesis. Uh, nobody from the government has not come in on this, but just your point. When you are cured of TB, your disease goes away. When your disease goes away, you are non-infectious. So you are serving two purposes. One, you are healing yourself. Two, you are healing people around you. Because you are not giving disease to others. The basilis is eliminated or? From the body. Okay, yeah. the body. Yeah, it is eliminated from the flesh out. I mean, if I, I have TB, it's eliminated from my body. I'm not now spreading. Rakesh and Dr. V care about. So both of them also benefit. That is the message we want to give you. So it's a dual thing. If you have the disease, you are diagnosed early, you are treated well, you are also doing a social job. Yeah. Without money. Yeah. Just, just uh, I mean, quickly, I mean, for you, I will say that why we are insisting early diagnosis? Because early diagnosis, early treatment, within Within 10 days of starting the treatment, you become non-infectious. Suppose you are treated after one month, you are diagnosed after one month, you are spreading the infections. See, that is why we want early diagnosis. All efforts are to diagnose early, to cut the transmission of infection through wonderful drugs that we have, through building immunity in the public, in the patients who come, so that the infection can be cut. So that three months has come to one hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one hour, because new tests can diagnose accurately in one hour. Any other insights? If you want, anyone, please join. Please feel free to join. Yeah, I'm just trying yeah. to summarize yes, 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 yes. based on your request. Yeah, yeah. So yes. what uh, uh, Bobby has requested me is that uh, we may need to use Malayal also in between. Fortunately, I am from Kerala, so I can handle a bit of Malayal. I'm just summarizing what this expert said. उमेंटी <laughs> Party and the election under the Nelly. Other option, Cherry Gap, that is called the missing gap in the Other than the Katam or we were discussing to find out how to find out the we were discussing here. Uh, and then it's not only important to find out, but what Dr. Vikara has now stressed is early diagnosis. The Pagan thing in another chain, any kid or one, Nyan Chomaki, on the COVID in the right transition. In the Pagan Roga, who are rather infective. Other any kid or one. चिकित्सा <laughs> रोगी प्रत्येक डिले 
എക്സ്റേ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ടൂൾ ഉപയോഗിച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് അത്തരം സബ് ക്ലിനിക്കൽ കേസുകൾ കണ്ടെത്താൻ സാധിക്കും അതായത് ടിപ്പിക്കൽ ലക്ഷണമില്ലാത്ത കേസുകൾ കണ്ടെത്തണമെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ വി നിൻ എക്സ്റേ എക്സ്റേ എങ്ങനെയാണ് ജനങ്ങളിലേക്ക് എത്തിക്കുക എന്നുള്ളതാണ് സാധനം ഒരുപാട് ടെക്നോളജീസ് അവൈലബിൾ ആണ് ഇപ്പം ഹാൻഡ് ഹെൽഡ് എക്സ്റേസ് അവൈലബിൾ ആണ് ഇന്ത്യയിൽ നാല് കമ്പനികൾ ഈ കയ്യിൽ ബാറ്ററി ഓപ്പറേറ്റർ ആയിട്ട് ഇങ്ങനെ പിടിച്ചിട്ടുള്ള ഒക്കെ വന്ന ഹാൻഡ് ഹെൽഡ് എക്സ്റേസ് കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റിയിൽ വയനാട്ടിൽ ഇവിടെ ടെസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് വയനാട്ടിൽ ഈ എക്സ്റേ വീടുകളിൽ നമ്മൾ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അംഗൻവാടിയിലോ സബ് സെൻറ്ററിലോ വെച്ചിട്ട് നമുക്ക് ആൾക്കാരുടെ എക്സ്റേ എടുക്കാനായിട്ട് പറ്റും അപ്പൊ അവർ ആശുപത്രി നാളെ നടത്തണമെന്നില്ല അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ടെക്നോളജീസ് അവൈലബിൾ ആണ് നാല് കമ്പനികൾ ഇന്ത്യയിൽ ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്നുണ്ട് വയനാട്ടിൽ അത് ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ഇത്തരത്തിലുള്ള ഹാൻഡ് ഹെൽഡ് എക്സ്റേസ് രണ്ടാമത് പണ്ട് മൈക്രോസ്കോപ്പിലാണ് ഉപയോഗിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരുന്നത് സാറ് സൂചിപ്പിച്ചത് നാറ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ടെക്നോളജി വന്നു നാറ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ന്യൂക്ലിയ ആസിഡ് ആംപ്ലിഫിക്കേഷൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് ആണ് ന്യൂക്ലിയ ആസിഡ് ആംപ്ലിഫിക്കേഷൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മൾ ട്രോനാറ്റിനെ എടുക്കുന്നു അല്ലെ അപ്പൊ അതുപോലത്തെ ടെസ്റ്റുകൾ ഇപ്പം അവൈലബിൾ ആണ് അത് എല്ലാ സ്ഥലങ്ങളിലേക്കും വ്യാപിപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് എല്ലാ ബ്ലോക്കുകളിലും എല്ലാ പി എച്ച് സിയിലും ഉൾപ്പെടെ നമുക്ക് എത്തിക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്ന ടെസ്റ്റ് ആണ് നാറ്റ് മൈക്രോസ്കോപ്പിൽ നോക്കുമ്പോൾ പതിനായിരം ബാസിലേക്ക് പെർ എം എൽ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നമുക്കത് കണ്ടെത്താൻ സാധിക്കും ലാബ് ടെക്നീഷ്യൻ കണ്ണുകൊണ്ടാണ് നോക്കുന്നത് പക്ഷെ നാറ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ജനിതക മെറ്റീരിയൽ ആണ് അപ്പൊ അത് പെട്ടെന്ന് പിക്ക് ചെയ്യും ഇരുപത്തൊമ്പത് ബാസിലേക്ക് പെർ എം എൽ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നാറ്റിന് പിക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ഏർലി ഡയഗ്നോസിസ് സാധ്യമാകും ഹ്യൂമൻ എറേഴ്സ് ഇല്ലാതെ അപ്പൊ ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ആദ്യമായിട്ടാണ് പോയിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് ലോകാരോഗ്യ സംഘടന പറഞ്ഞു റീപ്ലേസ് മൈക്രോസ്കോപ്പി വിത്ത് നാറ്റ് എന്നാണ് ലോകാരോഗ്യ സംഘടന പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നത് അപ്പൊ ആ ഡയറക്ഷനിലേക്കാണ് ഇന്ത്യയിൽ നീങ്ങിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് പല സംസ്ഥാനങ്ങളും അങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യും ജി ബി ഡയഗ്നോസ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് മൈക്രോസ്കോപ്പിക്ക് പകരം നാറ്റ് ഉപയോഗിച്ച് തുടങ്ങി പല സംസ്ഥാനങ്ങളും തന്നെയാണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ബട്ട് എനി സാമ്പിൾസ് ക്യാൻ ബി ടെസ്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ നാറ്റ് അതർ ദാൻ എനി സാമ്പിൾസ് ഇഫ് യു ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് സെർവൈക്കൽ ഇൻഫോർമി ക്യാൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് എനി അതർ സാമ്പിൾസ് യു ക്യാൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് ഇൻസ് നാറ്റ് ഓൾസ് ബി ക്യാൻ ഡു ദാറ്റ് അപ്പൊ നാറ്റ് കുറച്ചുകൂടെ വ്യാപിപ്പിക്കുക എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് പറയാനുള്ള ഒരു നിർദ്ദേശം എക്സ്റേ പോലെ ഉപയോഗിക്കുക ജനങ്ങളിലേക്ക് എത്തിക്കുക നാറ്റ് കുറച്ചുകൂടെ വ്യാപകമാക്കുക എന്നാണ് രണ്ടാമത്തെ സാധനം മൂന്ന് ചുമയുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ സാധാരണ അവർ എന്താ ചെയ്യാറ് പല പ്രദേശങ്ങളും നോക്കി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അവർ സാധാരണ പോയി മെഡിക്കൽ ഷോപ്പിൽ പോയി മരുന്ന് വാങ്ങും അല്ലാന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ദൈവം പോയിട്ട് പോയി ലെസ് ദാൻ ക്വാളിഫൈഡ് പ്രൊവൈഡർ എടുത്ത് പോകും അവരെ ഒക്കെ എൻഗേജ് ചെയ്യേണ്ടതുണ്ട് അവരെ തഴയാൻ പറ്റില്ല ഒരു പക്ഷെ ജനങ്ങൾക്ക് ഏറ്റവും ആദ്യം എത്തുന്ന ആൾക്കാരെ നമ്മൾ കുറച്ചും കൂടെ അവരെ സെൻസിറ്റൈസ് ചെയ്യുകയും എൻഗേജ് ചെയ്യുകയും ചെയ്യാനുള്ളതാണ് പിന്നീട് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നത് ഡിലേ കട്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും അവിടെ തന്നെ നമുക്ക് ഡയറക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് ടെസ്റ്റ് ഓർഡർ ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് പറ്റും അതിനുള്ള സൗകര്യങ്ങൾ നമുക്ക് ചെയ്ത് കൊടുക്കാനായിട്ട് പറ്റും പല പ്രദേശങ്ങളും അപ്പൊ അത്തരത്തിലുള്ള ചില ഇന്റർവെൻഷൻസ് ആണ് നമുക്ക് ആവശ്യം നാളൊരു സ്പെസിഫിക് കളക്ഷൻ ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ടേഷൻ സിസ്റ്റം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന സാധനം നമ്മള് സ്വിഗ്ഗിയിൽ എത്തി കഴിഞ്ഞ് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പത്ത് മിനിറ്റ് കൊണ്ട് സാധനം വീട്ടിലെത്തുന്ന ഈ സമയത്ത് ഒരു രോഗിയുടെ സ്കൂട്ടം ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്ത് ടെസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ രോഗി പോകണമെന്നില്ല ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്താണ് അത് ടി വിക്ക് വേണ്ടി മാത്രം ഉണ്ടാകണം എല്ലാ സാമ്പിളുകളും നമുക്ക് ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് ഇപ്പം നമ്മുടെ പ്രാഥമിക ആരോഗ്യ കേന്ദ്രത്തിൽ നിന്ന് ഒരു രോഗി എടുത്ത് ആ ടെസ്റ്റ് ജില്ലാ ആശുപത്രിയിൽ ഡെവലപ്പ് ചെയ്യണം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് പകരം സാമ്പിൾ അവിടെ എടുത്തിട്ട് ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റിയാൽ രോഗി പോകണ്ട ഒരുപാട് അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജസ് ഉണ്ട് രോഗി യാത്ര ചെയ്യേണ്ട രോഗിക്ക് പൈസ മുടക്കില്ല രോഗി അവിടെ എത്തുന്ന നമുക്ക് ഉറപ്പുണ്ട് മറ്റേതാണ് എത്തും പലപ്പോഴും നമ്മൾ ചെല്ലാൻ പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇന്ന് ചെല്ലാൻ പറഞ്ഞാൽ അടുത്ത ആഴ്ച ആയിരിക്കും ചെല്ലുന്നത് പത്ത് പേരുടെ ചെല്ലാൻ പറഞ്ഞാൽ നാല് പേരായിരിക്കും ചെല്ലുന്നത് അപ്പൊ അത്തരത്തിലുള്ള ഡിലേസ് നമുക്ക് ഒഴിവാക്കാനായിട്ട് സാധിക്കും സോ എഗൈൻ എക്സസൈസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ഫൈവ് പോയിന്റ്സ് എഗൈൻ വാട്ട് വാട്ട് ഓൾ ദീസ് ഡോക്ടേഴ്സ് ഡോക്ടർ അജയ് ഡോക്ടർ ഡി കെ അറോഗ ആൻഡ് ഡോക്ടർ സുകുമാർ ദാസ് ആയിട്ട് വൺ വി നീഡ് മോർ ആക്സസ് ടു എക്സൈസ് ടെക്നോളജീസ് ആർ അവൈലബിൾ ഇൻക്ലൂഡിംഗ് ആൻഡ് എക്സൈസ് Uh, because all TB is going to have problem TB symptoms. Second, as
it, it is not a fight to be led by doctors. It is to be a fight to be led by the people. We need to make it a people's movement against tuberculosis. It, it should be people's fight against tuberculosis. Jen Am Thoda, that's the concept basically. People need to come forward, say that I need to make my village TV free, or my Punjab TV free, or my district TV free, because it affects the development. Nobody should be orphaned because of tuberculosis. Nobody should die because of tuberculosis. It is the community's need also, right? So it affects the development. So people need to come forward. Other than Dharala initiatives on that. One such initiative is recently launched by Prime Minister. It's called the Free Panchayat Initiatives, where Panchayat takes the leadership uh, of uh, making their area. Because they know the problem. Problem is not the same everywhere. Problem in Kerala is different from problem in Bihar, which is different from problem in Mumbai. So local governments know the problems really, really well. Local community knows the problem really, really well. So that actually brings in value to this, all this sort of stuff. So this is the general summary of the entire discussions that happened here today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. And yes, uh, and uh, I must thank uh, uh, Bobby for bringing uh, people here, and special thanks to Radhika, the President Press uh, Club for Trishul, and uh, the Secretary, uh, Mr. Paul Mitchell, for uh, bringing so many people here and giving us a chance to voice our concerns about the patients and uh, requesting all of you to work, let us work together and uh, let us uh, convey the message and uh, also convey the message that a large number of doctors are now at this moment collected here in Trishul who are TV workers for uh, furtherance of their knowledge so many experts from TV, from Paris, Australia, Japan, Vietnam, people are collecting here tomorrow to give them the message, tell them how we can move forward in the moment. These words, uh, thank you very much to all of you. Grateful that you all are here. Nandri, Manakka, thank you. Sorry, yes, yes. Yeah, oh. Well, before we end, as uh, Radhika and I have discussed, there is one more question, a quiz for all of us. The, we, we heard from doctors about molecular tests, right? Uh, TrueNet and other kind of molecular tests which are recommended by WHO. So the question, is, is it true or false? Molecular tests can only diagnose TB and no other disease. Is it true or false? Good, thank you. Because it can diagnose, as our experts said, many, many diseases. And Kerala has taken leadership in diagnosing TB, COVID, uh, NIPA virus, and ICMR validated as well. So, which is really amazing. So, thanks a lot for listening. And very grateful to Radhika, Paul, and the whole family of the Sul Press Club for standing up and joining hands and forces uh, with, with this, such a humble effort. But let us, but, but but you know, it is an important effort. We really, really value it. Before we end. We have, uh, you know, we, will sh we have someone who will walk the talk, and that is Dr. Dari Bianca in your Nadu. She is here. We talk of point of care, decentralized, take lab to the people. Now let us see, can we really do that? Is it really lab independent? Like Dr. Dari Bianca, please show us. And so here it is, bringing lab to the people. Can somebody from Mobile just open it up for me, please? So this is the molecular diagnostics which has been uh, WHO endorsed for point of care at the periphery. So uh, you have your entire system in here, right from the extractor to the analyzer, and everything is done within one hour. You know, you extract the DNA, and then you do the anal analysis within 35 minutes, you have your results. So it is no longer a centralized solution, now we are bringing this to the people level. And this is just what, one of the examples actually, there are many, many more, but this is one of the examples where now with technology, we are able to reach the people. And that's what we wanted to show you here with, with evidence. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dharika. And if you go to the WHO website and search for it, you will find case studies where in Philippines, these are put in small boards and taken from island to island to screen people with TB and they found TB in places where there were none reported for two, three years past. In the DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo, I read there is, uh, on the WHO website that they, this is battery operated. 
So they charge, they, there is no electricity to recharge them. So they use solar power to charge uh, uh, WHO recommended molecular test, this uh, TUNET in the Democratic Republic of Congo. So we really need these kind of solutions which reach people where they are in no matter how difficult the circumstances uh, they may be living in. Because those are the real, you know, uh, at the last uh, UN General Assembly, there was a very famous, uh, uh, you know, UN, General, UN High Level meeting on TV. And one of the quotes went viral. And that was, you take treatment where the people are. Best of medicines are where there are no people. And where there are people with TB, we don't have the best of medicines. So the, in, that, in finding TB also you need to do that. We need to take best of these kind of most accurate tests, temperature candidate tests, where the, where the people are likely to be with TB. And not sit in huge hospitals. Of course, we need them at huge hospitals and uh, tertiary and district level hospitals. But we also need to go down uh, and really reach the people. So thanks a lot again to Thrissur Press Club. Thanks to each one of you. A special thanks to all our panelists, especially to Dr. Sajdeva, Dr. Rakesh, Dr. VK Aruna Sahab. Very, very grateful. Dr. Jyoti uh, Vashri, very grateful again. And also to Professor Surekhan for uh, helping us support and Elizabeth and Dr. M. Sunil Kumar, our champion from Kerala. Thanks a lot for championing efforts here in Kerala and also for coming from uh, Trivendram from uh, early in the morning and he reached here. So thanks a lot Dr. Sunil Kumar for that as well. Uh, very grateful today. A lot of workshops are happening despite which all these people could uh, come here. So very special gratitude. Again, Radhika, anything which you would like to add? Thank you so much, Paul and Radhika. I would like to thank the people uh, from uh, our country and uh, outside the country. Uh, they are fighting against the TB uh, uh, because uh, I am also a TB survivor uh, in childhood. I have TB. Uh, I know what the difficulties uh, and the social stigmas. Uh, uh, why the people, uh, why not uh, people uh, telling the truth, uh, the social stigma, uh, so some social problems here. Uh, but uh, we, uh, now we uh, thank you the people uh, of uh, doctor community and uh, so we uh, pledge to uh, fight against TV with you. Uh, now uh, the media fraternity, uh, for the media fraternity, I uh, assure you, we will uh, with you. Okay, thank you uh, for the media community uh, for arriving and, uh, and uh, some motivations uh, to make uh, some motivations in us. Thank you. Thank you.